Today I'm going to show you all the ways you can cast your MetaQuest headset to your phone, TV, or laptop. Now before I get started, hit the subscribe button to CNET for more how-to videos like this one, and I've linked Justin's text review of the MetaQuest Pro in the description. Now to many, virtual reality looks like a solitary endeavor. You're kind of inside this headset all by yourself but there are many ways that you can cast what you're seeing in the headset so that your friends and family can see what you're doing and maybe even participate. Now I've had my MetaQuest headset for about a year now and I mainly use the casting feature to spy on what my kids are playing when they're playing in their room by themselves or to cast Golf Plus VR, which is by far the best golf game in the history of golf games. It could be a video all on its own. Oh, yeah. The first thing you need to do is download the MetaQuest app on your device from the App Store. I looked for a PC version in the Microsoft Store but could not find it. Now start your VR headset and make sure your headset and the device you want to cast to are both on the same Wi-Fi network. They will not be able to communicate with each other if they aren't on the same network. The casting feature only works with external devices that support casting, like a Roku, a Chromecast, or the Google Chrome browser. Launch the MetaQuest app and sign in with your Meta username and password, and then follow the prompts on the screen. From the MetaQuest app, select Menu, and then select Casting. Click Next to allow access to your local network. You should now see your MetaQuest device. Click on it to connect. You can also get there faster by selecting the MetaQuest casting icon in the upper right-hand corner of the app, which looks like a tiny VR headset. Under your headset is a drop-down menu to select the device you want to cast to. If you don't see your device in the list, you can tap on Other Devices to search your network for an available device. Select your device and press Start. Your game or app will now be streaming to your device in landscape mode and you will see a list of options on the screen. At the top is simply the Watch button so you can watch the gameplay. Below the Watch button is a MetaQuest tutorial. Below that is a Recenter button and then a button to reset the Guardian. You can switch to a different app from this menu, and there are settings to see the red record button so you know when an app is being recorded, and a switch to hear the headset audio in the stream. On the right hand side of the screen, you have a button to record gameplay videos to the gallery in the MetaQuest app. You also have a button for split view that uses your phone's camera to record a person playing next to their gameplay stream. And now there's a new feature called Overlay, which uses your selfie camera to overlay your own video over the gameplay footage, which is a pretty nice tool for gamers and creators. The MetaQuest app also works similarly on the iPad and the MacBook Pro, but I just wanna mention that every time I've tried it with the MetaQuest app on my MacBook Pro, it turns the video upside down, which is extremely annoying. And if you look in the MetaQuest app store reviews, apparently it annoys a lot of other people too. Hopefully they will get this fixed soon. You can also cast your device from inside the MetaQuest headset. All right, so we're in this Lord of the Rings style underworld and I'm gonna show you how to cast to your device. So using the left controller, click the menu button with the three lines. That brings up this menu, then select sharing, then select cast. Now you have to choose which device you want to cast to. If you cast to your phone, and I will receive a notification on my phone, letting me know that my MetaQuest device is casting there. All you need to do is open the app and it will be streaming to your phone. To stop casting, click on casting and then stop casting. Now there is a way to cast your device from within a game. Use the same menu button on the left hand controller that brings up this menu, and then there's options to take a screenshot, record, cast, or report abuse, resume, and quit. Now I can't cast right now because I'm recording this, but you just imagine you push that casting button, you select from a list of devices, and then cast your gameplay. It's that simple. While you're casting, you will see a red dot of light, letting you know that someone on the outside of the metaverse is watching you. You can also cast your MetaQuest headset via browser by going to oculus.com slash casting. Once you're on the site, sign into your Meta account and start casting. Open the menu, select cast, and then select computer. Your feed will automatically show up on the browser. For some reason, the stream defaults to a cropped window and without your microphone audio. Activate your MetaQuest headset microphone so that your voice audio gets streamed to the browser as well. Turn on the audio and then click widescreen crop. 
and that makes a 16 by nine video. Now you have the full screen streaming from your headset to your oculus.com slash casting URL. This is great for capturing and streaming gameplay online and for sharing your POV gameplay with voiceover audio with other people. Is that part of the first hole? Now let's talk about troubleshooting. It's worth mentioning that if the MetaQuest app is running in the background on your phone, then the oculus.com slash casting URL will not work. You have to shut off the app on your phone and then it will cast to that URL. If you run into any issues casting, you could try restarting the headset, restarting your phone or casting device. Also make sure your headset is up to date as well as the MetaQuest app and your casting device. If you're still having trouble, try restarting your Wi-Fi router. There are some known issues with mesh networks, corporate networks, and certificate-based networks. Some televisions with built-in Chromecast functionality are not guaranteed to work with the MetaQuest headset. And you might have issues if you're trying to record and cast at the same time. And casting also drains the battery life of your VR headset way faster than regular use. There are also other ways to connect your MetaQuest headset to a PC with a special Quest Link cable, which allows you to play PC VR games not available on the MetaQuest 2 or Pro. But I'll get into that in a future video. Well, that's how to cast your MetaQuest headset to any device. If you found this video helpful, give us a like and ring that bell for more videos from CNET's massive YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Now watch this putt. I like that speed, I like that speed, I like that speed. Go, go.